What's unique about New Zealand and that is it's, it's a very maritime. So our weather patterns are unpredictable in a lot of cases, but we have some great spots for growing grapes. We're now sourcing fruit from Gisborne, Hawke's Bay, Marlborough, and even Central Otago. That means that there's a lot of varieties that do very well and perform quite differently in each region. So we're able to pick and choose from the best blocks, the best parcels, and even from new vineyards we've never sourced fruit from before. In growing grapes and, and making wine, you really have to understand what is happening ahead of time to see the weather and make sure the weather is not going to affect your crop and making sure that you've got the right environment for that crop. Marlborough is this large alluvial valley and it's essentially encompassed by mountains. These mountains stop all that weather coming from the Antarctic and it's created this beautiful, consistent weather patterns, very warm days and fantastically cool nights. Yeah, essentially the Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc is just more of everything. Hugely aromatic, hugely intense and concentrated and also really holds in the acid so this lovely natural acidity that, that really goes throughout the whole of the wine. Very few places in the world can actually uh, emulate what Marlborough does and, and just shows the, the fact that how unique Marlborough is. I think New Zealand is, is so lucky because we go from the north to the south and it's, it's fantastic to see those different varieties in those different areas. Yeah, Central Otago is a really distinctly different um, valley again. Essentially it is a large glacial valley and most southern wine growing region in the world. So what that means is that you get these hugely long days in the summertime and then very uh, short nights. But it also means you get a very short growing season. So spring is very late, winter is very early. The plants really have to race in order to ripen for the frost to come. About 100,000 years ago, a glacial has come right down through the valley and it's forged through the schist, through the mica, and it's just broken it down into this fine dust. That's what the vines um, grow on. Yeah, in Central Otago, you're really seeing Pinot Noir as being the front runner. It's the flagship for Otago. The glacial valleys just seem to just bring out another element in the Pinot Noir that we don't see in other places around the world.